Hey everyone, nextman 490 here, and welcome back to a Vlogging Time. So, uh, first things first, uh, before I get into the main stuff of the video, a uh, thing I gotta tell you is that, uh, about, the vi about the channel. So, first of all, something that will be happening is that I will be um, uh, doing a Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. It will have something interesting going on, you know, sort of challenge, but it won't be something immediate, you know. It won't be something apparent until a little ways in. Uh, and then also, I might... So that's going to be, like, about a month, about a week from now. Maybe a few days, I don't know. Um, and then there's... Uh, then on Martin Luther King Day, I might do a stream of Undertale. It's a big might because I don't know how my streaming setup can work with, like, quality, and yet it still works to stream. I don't know, um, with this open broadcaster software thing, you know, kind of weird. Anyways, the thing about the, this video, I traded in Bloodborne. I tried to like it. I was like, you know what, it's only $16 net of the uh, uh, Best Buy Gamers Club thing. And I tried to get into it, it, it was, but... No, and so I tr I didn't really like it. The thing is, is that it's believe it or not, the reason why I don't like it is that it's too hard. Wow. So I traded it in for like fourteen dollars. So basically, I paid around three dollars and you know net, basically, for it. Hey, it was it was a, it was a good experience, but something that I'm like, you know what, it I'm. I've had I've had my fill. Don't want to bother with it. I only got to the first chapter and I got to the first boss and I'm like, yeah, I'm no. No, too difficult. Enemies can kill can kill you in like 3 hits and you have to be really aggressive to get your health back and I don't know. It it takes a lot of skill, you know, and that's not really my kind of thing, you know. Um Kind of an annoying thing also is that like there's you know a lot of time because you have to be really careful a lot of time between uh saves you know like there's you know this whole area and the boss I even memorized the whole thing because it's, it's you know I've been there so many times you know first off you come out of this lantern and then you go down a uh, uh like a, a ladder metal a metal ladder a long one bring down from there and then there's a guy just walking around so you you know you you take care of him you know always got to stay on your toes and then you go through a doorway that you probably opened a while ago um after like defeating a few guys going downstairs so through that doorway there's a street where there's a, a group of guys that just keep walking down the street uh, towards a big fire at the end, or, yeah, basically. Uh, so they pass by two uh, staircases, little staircases. Probably, you know, best best thing is not to really mess with them unless you're really good, because chances are there will be two of them fighting you if you get one of them pissed off. So on the second staircase that they pass by, uh, there will be a guy sleeping, so you take care of him, and then you go up the little staircase. You can, can go to the uh, to the left, to a little uh, or to the right, uh, to a little side area with a guy waiting in ambush. And then there's another guy waiting in ambush on the main path, on, or on that main upper path that is, you know, on the on the right of that street. So uh, then you go ne like uh, across from that big fire that I uh, mentioned a bit. And one or two guys will notice you walking by, so they'll go attack you. So they take care of them, and then there's a guy just kind of standing there next to a lever. Uh, so you take care of him, and then you uh, keep your distance from the fire. There's a little carriage, uh, or, you know, normal size carriage, with a uh, dog monster sitting, like, uh, like at the side of it. You take care of that thing, which can hit you quite quickly and rough and all that. But you take care of that, and then there's a guy with a gun on a little high ledge, a slightly high ledge. So you should probably throw a Molotov at him, just get him out of the picture, you know, because he'll probably mess you up if you start attacking the two guys 
and they were kind of patrolling up and down a little flight of stairs. So after all that, you uh, go into a little courtyard where there's like, a, like to the side, there's some big monster who's trying to bash through a door that all those enemies are holding back, I guess. Um, then there's some like crow monsters that jump at you, so you gotta keep an eye on them as you pass by. And then there's a couple of dog monsters up, like once you go up a couple of flights, little flights of stairs. And you better take care of the one that's really in their, your way quickly because there's another group of guys that just come down some stairs and walk around the fountain. So it's not, you know, you don't have much space to walk around there before they notice you, basically. And then you go up some other stairs just running away from them because it's, it's definitely too much trouble, I'm, I'm pr pretty sure. And then there's a big bridge. You can go to a little house. There's a guy waiting in ambush, whatever. Uh, and then there's like um, uh, two big wolf wolf monsters. Uh, so you should probably throw a pebble at one of them. So take care of them one by one, you know, one after another, because they do have a lot of health and they can strike hard, I guess. And then there's uh, an ogre type monster with uh, with like three crows near it. You should probably throw a Molotov. At least that's what I did because I was losing my patience. And then there's a boss, and I'm like, no. I'm I no, I I get the appeal for sure, but no, too too difficult for me. So that kind of leaves like no PlayStation Four exclusives that I'm really interested in. I'm trying to turn on my Xbox One here. So there's like Uncharted Four, which I'm not interested in. Uh, there's um. I mean, like, I played Uncharted on the Vita, and I, it wasn't really my kind of thing. And it seems to be that it it's, tends to stay the same, you know? I did buy... Oop. Every time I hit this thing. Microphone. There is Little Big Planet. I did buy that for $8, but I'm not really interested in, uh, you know, playing it for more than a year. Got one more year of PlayStation Plus. I'm giving Sony that much time to come up with something really interesting on that service or else I'm gonna trade in my PS4 because I don't I, there's nothing really keeping me onto the thing Ugh. so there's that with uh, PS4 there is a uh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn which I'm not interested in it, it has a lot of stealth and you have to be really careful again because there's all these robot mon guys not guys, animals and dinosaurs and stuff. And then there's uh, the the Last Guardian, which eh, it doesn't seem all that much fun, you know. Just another one of those arty games that isn't. Oh well, it doesn't have to be fun. <laughs> so that just leaves uh, the games on PS Plus, which uh, last month I didn't even bother downloading them because I'm like. I'm just gonna play it for an hour. I don't care. So the ones the the this month is uh, Hardware Rivals. Some kind of like cars shooting each other. I'll probably just play like not even maybe like eight rounds. Uh just like with Rocket League. And then there's Grim Fandango Remastered, which is much better than the games from last month, or the, you know, little slices of games, even. But still, it's it's not something I'd play for more than a few hours, so it's not really something with staying power. So, yeah, I'm giving it one year, that's it, you know. Um, let me go back to the Xbox One. Okay, so I've actually had uh, Xbox Live Gold for um, for a month, and now I'm having another month. I got it for like, got one month for a dollar, and then another month for ten dollars because I forgot to uh, cancel it out. You know, cancel the uh, renewal. That is. Um. So this month with the uh, games with gold. There's the uh, DLC for Kill Killer Instinct. 
because the Earl's usually the uh, usually you get like for free. There's just one character a week, but now you can play all the characters, and thus you have multiplayer. You can bring someone over and you can play whatever character you like. There's something with value that that you can play for more than a few hours. You play two years from now, and you'll be like, hey. Let's play some Killer Instinct. Be have the characters beat each other up. Yeah. Granted, it's not my kind of thing. You know, I'm not really a fighting game fanatic. In fact, I even find these things kind of broken because uh, I just can't get those combos going. But still, you know, it's something with value. With, you know, some serious value. So so while well, I haven't really you know enjoyed that and I have tried like the new thief game on uh you know that came out next like uh last month on uh games with gold but I didn't really enjoy it for long but there is a sun but I have been playing sunset overdrive multiplayer and that's been a lot of fun even though some missions in it you know kind of impossible I guess whatever but yeah like uh the thing the Xbox one in comparison you know there's all these games I already got now that interested me in the past and now I've had some fun with them you know there's sunset overdrive there's uh the rare replay Forza horizon 2 and the halo collection even though I haven't played halo in a cup like a month or two and then there is, uh, like, coming up, there's a Scalebound coming out next year. There is, like, a Platinum game, so, you know, the fighting, the dodging, the blocking, and all that stuff. But with a dragon! So you can play as a human as well as a dragon. That's really awesome. That's something that's never really been done to that extent before. That's really unique and really, you know, engaging. Um, and also Quantic Break might be good, I guess. Uh, so there's that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I'm starting to forget. God damn it. Uh, so yeah, Xbox One has the exclusives I like, and PS4 does not. Basically. Um, anything else to talk about? I don't really think so. So, uh, stay tuned for, um,. Pokemon Heart Gold and uh, maybe uh, Undertale on uh, Martin Luther King Day. Uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. I got the Club Nintendo calendar for 2016, so uh, that's pretty good. You know, got Mario and his friends all dressed in uh, in Japanese clothing and also celebrating some holidays like Fourth of July there. And can even work as a nice little uh, memo thing. Yeah, like a like a diary basically. And I got that uh Smash Bros poster with the Rosalina up now up up, up there that is. So that's going to be it for this video of vlogging time. Goodbye.